On Friday 24th of May, Alperton Road in Wembley became the scene of the Iranian regime's thuggery on UK soil. They kicked a woman on the floor. Several people were badly beaten up. One man is still in hospital and almost lost his eyesight. And guess what? The Brent police have not made a single arrest. On Friday, I came back from my court hearing in Croydon Magistrates Court. I was about to make a video and tell you what happened, but I got consumed in something more important. I will update you about my court case at the end of this video, but what happened at Wembley is just far more serious. The Council of Senior Clerics and Islamic Centres, yet another regime outlet in the UK, which has, of course, another registered charity in the UK, because our charity commission is just so useless and shit, posted a memorial service it was holding at Wembley for the Iranian president, Ibrahim Raisi, also known as the Butcher of Tehran, who was killed in a mysterious helicopter crash. So a group of Iranian expats, no more than 10 or 15, went there for a peaceful protest. They went there quite unprepared against my advice, but that's irrelevant now. They were immediately jumped on and attacked by the regime's thugs, and some were badly hurt. Wembley became a scene of Iranian regime thuggery on UK soil. Women were spat at, they were kicked at when on the floor, you can see the picture here. And yet Brent's police, when they turned up, did not make a single arrest. Nor have they been to those in hospital to take a statement from them. All they did was issue this ridiculous statement calling it a clash between the Iran regime supporters and their opponents. A clash? It wasn't a clash. The protesters were attacked like they get attacked in Iran. But here in London. Now, in a normal country, if the agents of a hostile country did this, they would be identified, rounded up and imprisoned or deported. But because the UK is currently run by a woke, spineless bunch, nothing, nothing. There are bodies on the floor and look at the police. Compare it with how 10 of them jumped on me for just pushing someone's hand away. And the mainstream media either didn't report it or those that did report it, they were just very tame. Thank God 2CTV reported it though. This is beyond belief. If they get away with this, they will get more brazen. Make sure your MP knows about it and ask them why are the Ayatollahs in Iran allowed to have so many outlets in the UK? They shouldn't have any, not one. They chant death to England. They burn the Union Jack flags. You can't even open the British Council there. Why are you allowing them to open so many outlets here? And a separate charity with every outlet. And finally, with regards to, to my own court case. Um, so we showed the video to the prosecutor and um, she was just flabbergasted uh, when, when she saw it. But unfortunately, um, she was too junior to uh, dismiss it. She didn't have the authority to dismiss it. I have pleaded not guilty as you would expect, and the case will be sent uh, to CPS for review. Um, it should have been already, but they hadn't bothered for some reason. Uh, my bail conditions have been removed, and I will update you if I hear more. Thank you for all your support and all your well wishes. I really do appreciate it.